this morning. We are chatting about those iconic South African ads that you'll just never forget. And we can't chat about this without mentioning the Vodacom guy. Remember the man who used to wear the leopard print Speedo? Well, his name came up a lot. So we asked producer Phil to get a hold of him this morning and just find out a little bit about what he's been doing lately. So thanks, Phil, for getting hold of Mr. Michael DePinner. Hello, Michael. Welcome to Small Breakfast. Hey, thank you for having me. Yes, nice to talk to you. So what are you up to these days after we've seen you in your leopard print Speedos? <laughs> well, you haven't seen me in my leopard print Speedo for a long time. But I do have the Speedo and it's in the, well, I nearly put it into mothball. It's still, it's still there, but the elastic's gone, I'm afraid. <laughs> so I don't put it on anymore. <laughs> and uh, I did go to Mauritius last year and I, I had I had a normal costume, and one of my friends persuaded me to turn it into a um, leopard skin print, artificially, of course. Oh. And I got about sixty-seven thousand hits on Twitter, <laughs> which scared me somewhat. And um, so I've decided I'm never changing my clothes off in public again. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> so, that's it. Anyway, I've um, had some very funny experiences in my life being here at <laughs> Um People all used to ring me up and say, please just put on your leopard skin underwear and come and be funny. <laughs> I said, after the first 30 seconds of seeing me in leopard skin underwear, believe me, it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> there's a man that. behind there. You know, there's a heart and a soul and a whole human being behind those leopard skin undies. Well, I still do plays and I did a huge movie in Nigeria about a year ago which was the biggest grossing film Nigeria has ever made. I played the father in a movie called The Wedding Party 2, Destination Dubai. I did a play a couple of years back called Twilight of the Golds, in which I played the dad. What else have I done? I teach a lot. I teach singers and actors, mainly singers, because that was my original profession, how to perform, how to phrase, how to vocalize, how to be on stage, Mm. how to move. All that kind of thing. So I'm sort of going more down the teaching line now. And um, I still perform myself whenever possible. Yeah, that's me. Uh, How's the ponytail doing? Yes. No, 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 no. Um, When I went for the Vodacom ad, I had this ponytail. So what could I do? Eventually I grew mine and it turned into what looked like a dead rat. (laughs) And I thought, I can't take this any longer, this dead rat look. So what I did was I shaved my head bald, a bit like Kojak, and I've more or less been like that ever since. You know, I've got lots of hair on my chest, but very really little on my head. I'm <laughs> <laughs> well, Michael DePinner, you are most definitely part of South African pop culture history, and it's great chatting to you. I'm glad you're still doing really, really well. And uh, I hope that you don't ever decide to retire that Leopard Prince mm. Speedo for good. Keep well, and thanks for chatting to us. <laughs> it's been fabulous chatting to you, and have a wonderful day. All Thank the you, best. Michael. You Cheers. Too. Bye. Bye. <laughs>